RC circuit discharging of a capacitor let us say we have an RC circuit here and this circuit contains a resistor of resistance R this also contains a capacitor of capacitance C and initially this circuit is open that is there is no current inside this circuit that is T is less than 0 so circuit is open when T is less than 0 let us say charge in the capacitor is Q0 so initial charge on capacitor is Q0 And initially this circuit is open that is switch is open there is no current in the circuit so initially there is no current in the circuit now let us say we close this switch that is we throw this switch here so we will have something like this and let us call this time is t is greater than 0 so circuit is closed and once we close this circuit there will be current inside this circuit so in case of closed there will be a current there will be current in circuit Now this current will flow in this way. Now this positive charge, so initially we have a large amount of charge on this plate. This charge will travel through this wire and finally it will reach to this negative plate. So what will happen? Positive charge finally will neutralize the negative charge. So in the process of flow of current, positive charge will neutralize the negative charge. So basically there is there exist a charge neutralization and let us say at any time this circuit has a current of I so through whole circuit there is a I current is flowing so I can say I is the current in the circuit at any time T current in circuit at time t and q is the charge on capacitor on so at any time t so q is the charge on capacitor at time t my task is to find what is the charge and what is the current in the circuit at any time t to solve this problem we can apply Kirchhoff law in this circuit and we can solve this following equation so let us discuss so we have this circuit now switch is closed so there will be a current and we said this current is I we can apply Kirchhoff loop law let us travel from this point if I travel from this point to this point there is no resistance so there is no potential drop if I travel from this point to this point there is a resistance and potential drop is negative and that is minus I R now if I cross this capacitor so final positive initial is negative so there is a positive change in potential that is increase in potential and this is given by formula Q is equals to C into V so V is nothing but Q by C so if I put V is equals to Q by C 
and sum this is equals to 0 or I can write that is I R is equals to Q by C or I can write I is equals to Q by R C now we have an important point here that is I is given by DQ by DT so rate of flow of charge is called current but in this case you see DQ is what charge if you say DT is positive if you say DT is positive that is time is increasing then Q is decreasing that is DQ is negative because in this plate initially we have very high amount of charge slowly slowly this charge is decreasing in that case I can have DQ is negative so DQ by DT is a negative number because DQ is negative DT is positive so overall this is a negative number and the current has a positive direction positive magnitude basically current we are assuming flows in this direction and this is positive so we have to have this equation sign by is also correct this side we have positive sign and this side we have negative sign to make the equation overall sign wise correct let us put a negative sign so what we are doing so important point we have here Q is decreasing with time So to make equation sign wise correct sign wise correct we have to add a negative sign and this is minus dq by dt so this equation can be further written as dq i is minus dq by dt is equals to q by r c or i can write dq by dt is equals to minus q by r c so this is the equation for this circuit so this is a differential equation so we have differential equation that is dq by dt is equals to minus this is q by r c now we can solve this equation I can write dq by q if I take q this side is equals to minus 1 by r c and dt and let us integrate both sides we know t is equals to 0 charge on capacitor that is q naught this is the initial condition we have so when we have time is equals to 0 charge is q naught let us say when we have time t is equals to t charge is q if I integrate this this is 1 by x dx so this is ln x that is ln q and we have to integrate this from q naught to q and this side we will have minus 1 by r c and integration of dt is simply t and this is 0 to t now put the limit so we will have ln q minus ln q naught this is equals to minus t by r c and minus if you put the lower limit to 0 so this will become 0 now further we can use the formula ln minus ln b is equals to ln a by b that is q by q naught is equals to minus t by r c so this is minus t by r c or I can write q by q naught is equals to e to the power minus t by r c so from here we can write q is equals to q naught e to the power minus t by r c 
Now this equation is an important equation. If I know this equation, we can calculate charge at any time t or other way around also. If I know the charge, we can calculate time. After what time we will have this amount of charge or if time is given, what will be the charge. So two kind of problem we can do from this equation. Now we can also find I. I we have said I is nothing but minus dq by dt. So we can differentiate minus and d by dt of q is given here that is q naught e to the power minus t by rc so this becomes q is constant goes out so minus q naught and d by dt of e to the power minus t by rc so if you differentiate this will be minus q naught e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x and then we have to differentiate e to the power x that is x we have to differentiate so this will be minus 1 by rc so minus minus becomes plus so this becomes plus q naught by rc e to the power minus t by rc so we have now current i is equals to q naught by rc e to the power minus t by rc So from this equation we can calculate current at any time t. For example when we have t is equals to 0 current is given by t is equals to 0 current is given by q naught by rc. Similarly here we can find t is equals to 0 what is the charge. So if I put t is equals to 0 this becomes 1 so q is equals to q naught and that is the basically initial condition we have. So we discussed how to find charge as a function of time and current as a function of time in case of discharging capacitor. What we have to do? We have to apply Kirchhoff's law and we have to write a differential equation and then finally we have to solve this differential equation for Q and if I differentiate Q we can get current inside this circuit.